Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 11. Luke 2 verse 10 to 11. Sabi ng verse 10, But the angel said to them, referring to the shepherds, Do not be afraid. I don't know who is this for, but God wants to remind you, don't be afraid. Sabi ng angel sa shepherd, huwag ka matakot. Why? Because I bring you good news that will cause, this good news will cause, this good news will result, this good news will cause great joy, not great stress, not great fear, but great joy for all people, not just for the Israelites, not just for some people, but for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Are you grateful, mga kapatid, that Jesus was born? Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Jesus. He is Messiah, our Lord. That's interesting, mga kapatid, na ang unang phrase na binitawan ng mga angels sa mga shepherd is that phrase, don't be afraid. Or if I may put this in a context maybe, pwedeng sinasabi sa ating, don't be stressed, don't be anxious, don't be afraid, for God has brought to us a good news that will bring great joy for all the people. And I understand the season that we are in. We've been doing Simbang Gabi for a few years already, but this is the first time nagagawa tayo ng Simbang Gabi Pandemic Edition. And I understand what our world, what this earth has been going through. Ang pandemic nandyan pa rin, ang COVID nandyan pa rin, pero well, mas matagal nang nag exist ang ating Panginoon versus ang COVID. I feel the weight, I feel the pressure of this season na pinagdadaanan hindi lang nating lahat, kundi ng mga taong buhay pa. Alam niyo mga kapatid, pag in-interview ang isang tao o in-interview niyo ang inyong katabi, ang kapamilya ninyo, or maybe you can let me know in the chat as well how this year has been sa inyong buhay. Ano naging tatak ng 2020 sa atin? And I submit to you, pag tinanong ko kayo kung ano ang epekto, ano ang nangyari, ano ang resulta ng taong ito para sa ating lahat, magiging iba-iba ang ating sagot. Pwede nga iba sa inyo sasabihin, ah, pastor, ang business ko, mas lalong lumago this year. Ah, pastor, yung trabaho ko, aba, na-promote pa ako in the midst of pandemic season. Aba, pastor, yung aming business, nagkaroon pa ng another branch, nag-open pa, grabe ha, favor ng ating Panginoon. On the other hand, may mga tao rin namang magsasabi, pastor, nawalan ako ng trabaho during this season. Pastor, natanggal po ako sa trabaho, nagsara ang aming kumpanya, nalugi ang aming negosyo, we don't have a choice, kundi isara ang aming negosyo, nagkahiwalay po kami mag-asawa, namatay po sa COVID-19 ng aking mahal sa buhay. Marami tayong kwento about this year. And sometimes mga kapatid, na-realize ko, especially this season, napapunta na po tayo sa Christmas Day. Marami sa atin, ang nag expect pa din that we're going to celebrate a familiar Christmas sa ating lahat. Yung Christmas na nakasanayan natin. Yung Christmas na kagawian na natin. There's nothing wrong with familiarity. But let me just remind you, mga kapatid, that familiarity will rob you of, of an opportunity to receive the revelation that comes from the Lord. I say that again, para mas malinaw, para klaro, para bars. <laughs> familiarity may rob you of an opportunity to receive a revelation from God. Kung lagi lang natin i-expect kailan mangyayari ang familiar Christmas, we are missing a lot in our life. I believe the best question that all of us should ask, what is God teaching me during this season? Ano kaya ang itinuturo sa akin ng ating Panginoon? Sapagat iba ang taong ito kumpara sa ibang taon. O siya sure, iba ang simula ng dekadang ito sa mga susunod pang dekada. I don't know if you heard na meron na namang nag exist yata, I don't know how sure it is, na meron na namang yata nag exist sa bagong strain ng virus, and we don't know that. We don't know kung saan ito tatakbo. But what we are trying to say is that this decade has been different from all other decades. And you cannot expect a celebration of a familiar Christmas. Christmas na nakasanayan na natin. Please, uh, lagyan nyo nga ako ng timer so that baka, hindi tayo, para hindi tayo, baka abutan ng Christmas so sa December 25 pa tayo matapos. What is God teaching you in this season? Because... If you're familiar with the story of Christmas, mga kapatid, we all know the story. 
Si Mary, natakot. Si Joseph, na confused. <laughs> Kasi, ikakasal na dapat siya, na-cancel yung kasal. You know the story. Ang mga shepherd na nagpakita ang angel, they were terrified as well. So, si Mary, natakot. Si Joseph, na confused. Ang mga shepherd, terrified. Lahat sila, may namuong fear sa kanilang puso. Pero parehong response ang binigay ng Panginoon sa kanilang takot. Ang sabi ng angel sa kanila, don't be afraid. A familiar answer na common sa kanilang lahat, don't be afraid. Now this is interesting kasi bilang Mary, bilang Joseph, bilang shepherd, they are not used to. <laughs> Hindi sila familiar na may angel na kumakausap sa kanila. Hindi sila familiar na may Diyos na bumababa mula sa kalangitan. And this Christmas, maybe a different Christmas, but hey, the first Christmas is unfamiliar too. Ang unang Christmas, hindi rin sila sanay. Nabigla din si Mary. Sino ba naman ang masasanay na virgin ka, na buntis ka? Sino ba naman ang masasanay na ibibigay ang greatest news of all time sa mga shepherd na considered na menial job? This is unfamiliar and 2,020 years later, we are experiencing the same thing. Unfamiliar Christmas. Kung may title man ito, you can, you, can, you can put that chat. Unfamiliar Christmas. They are not familiar na ang angel nag, nakikipag-usap sa kanila. Because in the first place, they are not supposed to talk to God. They were not supposed to talk to the angels. It's not the norm. Hindi yun ang nakasalayan. Kasi kapag ginawa nila yun, they will die. Literally. Ikamamatay nila kapag nakipag-usap sila. Bakit? Because there is a certain distance between God and man. By the way, na tayo din ang may kagagawan. There is a certain distance between man and God na dati wala. And now, they are so familiar na ang Diyos malayo they're so used na kapag nagpe-pray sila, hindi sila nag expect na maaring dinggin sila ng Panginoon. They are not used sa kapag nanalangin sila, ay kakalugdan sila ng ating Panginoon because there is a certain distance na tayo din ang may kagagawan. But thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know, I'm preaching power, mga kapatid. I'm preaching myself happy. I don't know about you, mga kapatid, but Jesus made a way to reconcile you and I back to God so that that distance ay mawala. Distance na tayo ang may kagagawan pero distance na sinara ng ating Panginoon para sa bawat isa sa atin. Bilang katunayan at paalala sa atin, your God is not just your God. He is your Father. Your God is not just your Creator. He is your Savior. Your God is not just a God who placed the stars in the sky. He is also the same God that numbered, not counted, numbered your hair. Alam ng Diyos kung ilan ang buhok mo pa na natitira. Ilan, alam ng Diyos kung ilan yung nalagas kanina habang naliligo ka. Kung naligo ka. Pero alam din ng Lord kung ano ang original na kulay ng buhok mo. God knows you. And that same God na kilalang kilala kung anong original na kulay ng buhok mo. At alam na alam kung ilan ang number ng buhok mo. At alam na alam, amen, ang, ang, ang anatomy ng ating katawan is also the same God that created the universe. That same God Close the gap. Close the distance na tayo ang gumawa. Isn't that a good news? Hindi ba maganda balita yun, mga kapatid? That because of Jesus, nawala yung distance na yun. Now, because of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, my friend, now, because of Jesus, dahil sa ating Panginoon, it's not your holy works that makes you holy. Mm, that's big. Because of Jesus, it's not your righteous works that makes you righteous, that made you righteous. It's not your holy works that made you holy. It is Jesus. Amen. He rescued you, inabot ka niya, hindi mo siya kayang abutin, pero si Jesus mismo ang bumaba para sa bawat isa sa atin. Hindi ka perfecto, pero ang Diyos mo ay perfecto. Hindi ka faithful, pero ang Diyos mo ay faithful. Hindi ka consistent, pero ang Diyos ay laging consistent. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, somebody, let's give Him the praise. Praise Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. God is reminding all of us, Jesus is the reason for this season. Amen. Because He came. Yeah. Alam niyo yung, I heard an illustration na parang yung bata na nahulog sa balon, hindi pa naman patay, nahulog sa balon, 
At kung ikaw nakita, buong barangay nakakita na yung batang ito nahulog sa balon. And kung, kung normal kang tao, eh, hindi ikaw yung type ng barangay o mga tao sa barangay na titignan mo lang yung nalulunod na bata sa sabihin mo, kaya mo yan, anak, sikapin mo, langoy-langoy. Kampay-kampay din pag may time, no? Somebody must come down and rescue that kid. And that is a picture of the Christmas. Hindi sinabi ng Diyos mula sa langit, kaya niyo yan. Hindi sinabi ng Diyos mula sa langit na kampay-kampay din pag may time. Simba-simba din. Pag... Hindi sinabi ng Diyos yo. Jesus came for you and for me so that that distance will be closed. And let me just tell you this. Christmas is necessary because we all need a Savior. Put that in the chat. Christmas is not just an option. It is a necessity because God knows we cannot save ourselves. Merry Christmas, everybody. That is the reason why we celebrate Jesus as Christmas. That is the reason why we celebrate Christmas. Hindi dahil may bagong damit ka sa Pasko. 22 pa lang nabili mo na yung damit mo, susot mo 25. Right? That's not the reason. All of these are good. Okay yan. By all means, kung may pambili ka, bumili ka ng bago. Right? Comment in the chat. Sana all may pambili. But, that's not the main reason why we celebrate. Christmas is not an excuse para makapag-party. Mag-party tayo kasi Christmas. No, 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 no. Mag-party kayo, by all means, do that. Bawal pala. <laughs> Christmas is not an, ex- not an excuse para bumili tayo ng bagong damit. Nanay, bibili ako ng damit. Bakit? Pasko naman eh. Excuse. Right? Ubusin na natin yung bonus. Pasko naman eh. Excuse. Christmas is not an excuse para ubusin ng bonus. Christmas is not an excuse para bumili ng mga bagay na ito. Again, walang problema kung may pambili, bumili. Ang may pandinig, makinig. Ang may pambili, bumili. You get what I'm saying? Okay? Oo. May pandinig lang, wala ng pambili. But we celebrate Christmas because Christmas is supposed to be celebrated. Tama lang naman. Kasi ang simbang gabi, hindi na, hindi tayo, wala, hindi tayo may simbang gabi dahil tradisyon to ng mga Pilipino at tradisyon ng Jia Kamanaba. Kaya tayo may simbang gabi because it is a reminder for all of us that Jesus Christ is born. Anong ibig ko sabihin? Maaaring busy-busy ka ngayon. Siguro nagdadrive ka, galing kang mall and all of that. Hindi di, di, di ko kayo nusga, hindi ko kayo ginajudge. Okay? Asa sa, okay lang yan, no problem. Christmas, Christmas rush. No problem. Pero sana man lang, <laughs> magkaroon tayo ng pagkakataong katulad nito. Para mag-reflect, huminto saglit, sa napakabising Christmas season at sabihin, Lord, gusto ko ipaalala sa akin sarili, hindi masaya ang Christmas ko dahil sa regalo, hindi masaya ang Christmas ko dahil may umuwing ka mag-anak, masaya ang Christmas kasi alam kong niligtas mo ko sa pagkakasala. Wag mong, kapatid, wag nating tanggalin si Jesus. Wag mong tanggalin si Christ sa Christmas. Amen? Now, I don't want you to be judgmental and, and superstitious about this Xmas and all of that. Kasi yung X naman yan in the Greek is Christos then. So technically, inabbreviate lang nila yung Christmas. And, but for me, personal choice ko not to use the Xmas. Instead, use the Christmas so that we can... By the way... But in reality, mga kapatid, galit na galit tayo sa gumagamit ng Xmas, pero tayo, marami na tayong ini-X. Sorry, 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 sorry. Or, iba pala yung ini-X, no? Marami, na, marami tayong tinatanggal na Christ sa Christmas. Hindi na si Jesus ang naging reason for this season. Hindi na si Jesus ang naging reason why we're happy. It's an easy temptation for all of us. But I understand as well, let me just be clear, because I've been asked, <laughs> okay, finally, let's, let's try to answer this. I've been asked before I close. I've been asked a few times, many times rather. I've been asked many times. Pastor, di ba dapat hindi tayo nagsiselebrate ng Christmas kasi it's a pagan practice. Have you heard of this question? Yeah. Heard of this question. Actually, nung nag- nag-celebrate nga ako ng Christmas, kinundem pa ako, iba't daw ako nagsiselebrate. <laughs> Nag-guilty tuloy ako. Now, let me just be clear. Yes, ang Christmas ay may pagan origin. I understand that. Yes, Christmas today has been a materialistic Christmas. I understand that. Langyari talaga eh. Is that clear? 
but it doesn't change the fact that Jesus was born for you and for me. And since Jesus was born, ang sabi ng angel, don't be afraid, for I bring you what? Good news, and good news needs to be celebrated. Kasi ninyo mga kapatid, ang Holy Spirit, nagdedicate ng maraming chapters sa Christmas, ng Christmas sa Gospels. Kung ang Holy Spirit nagdedicate ng maraming Christmas passage sa Scripture, who are we not to celebrate it? Kung si Holy Spirit nga nilagay napakarami. Now we understand, totoo naman, si Jesus hindi talaga na born. It is an impossibility na talagang si Jesus ay pinanganak ng December 25. I understand that. Pero di ba tayo pag may birthday, kahit naman hindi December 25, kung birthday ko, February 23, kung gusto nyo na i-celebrate ngayon, hindi ako magagalit. Ba't natin iniisip na parang, oh, ba't kayo nagsiselebrate ng December 25, hindi ko birthday yan? Eh ako kahit hindi ko birthday, mag-celebrate kayo, masaya ako. Right? It's not the date, kapatid. It's the, the reason behind it. Am I, am I, am I talking somebody, to somebody? It doesn't change the fact it doesn't change the fact that Jesus was born. Hindi December 25, but you cannot change the fact that Jesus was born. Gawin mo man ang birthday party ko before my birthday or after my birthday or not my birthday, you still celebrate my birthday, I'm happy. What about the bells, the candles, and all of that? I know. Ginamit siyan. May bells, may candles, mga kapatid. Okay, I respect everyone na hindi nagsiselebrate ng Christmas. But I guess, dahil nanonood kayo dito, ibig sabihin, nagsiselebrate tayo. Okay? But I, I understand, yung mga hindi nagsiselebrate, okay, I respect you. But you don't have to be dogmatic about those people na nagsiselebrate ng Christmas. Wala namang masama kung i-celebrate natin ang kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon. Bell lang ba ang issue natin? Eh, yung bell, ginagamit din yan to pronounce an announcement of a good news. Candle ba ang problema natin? Sa tabernakel, may candle. Ang candle iniiwa, iniilawan because it is a reminder that Jesus is the light. But kayo may Christmas tree. Ayan na naman tayo. Eh. Okay, Christmas tree, yeah, ginamit ng mga pagano yan. Yung tutaang talagang, talagang mga puno, pinasok nila sa bahay nila, dinecorate nila para sa kanilang Diyos Diyosan. Pero it doesn't mean na kapag ginawa mo, personal opinion, eh, ibig sabihin sineselebrate mo, sineselebrate nila. Think about this. Kapag ba may unbeliever na tinanong mo, ba't ka may Christmas tree sa bahay? Ano sa sagot nila? Because I, was, I want to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Hindi nila sasabihin, kaya ako may Christmas tree kasi gusto kong tularan ng mga pagano. Ginawa kasi nila to eh. No. These are unbelievers ha, na walang kaalam-alam patungkol sa pagano. And yet, it's not, alam niyo mga kapatid, kung ayaw niyo magkaroon ng Christmas tree, no problem. I respect that. But we have to respect each other as well. Let me just be clear. Hindi sinabi ng Bible, na mag-celebrate tayo ng Christmas. Hindi sinabi ng Bible. Hindi rin naman sinabi ng Bible na huwag tayo mag-celebrate ng Christmas. So, ako, ako naniniwala mga kapatid, let's just celebrate God's goodness in our life. Right? This may be offending to some, but, but I'm just saying this with all humility and all of that. Kasi yung Christmas tree, kaya, nag, kaya naman galit talaga ang iba dyan kasi nga, ginagamit, ginagawa nila, nagpuputol sila ng puno, inuukit nila yan, tapos de-decorate nila para sa kanilang mga just josan Pero tayo naman, mga kapatid, amen, if you are doing that just to symbolize the birth of Jesus Christ, we don't celebrate what the pagans celebrate. Hindi naman yun ang celebrate natin. We don't celebrate the tradition. Hindi tayo masaya dahil may Christmas tree, dahil may bells, no. Dahil may Christmas, tanggalin nyo na lahat ng yan, pero ang importante, si Kristo i-celebrate natin. So ang tanong ko po, with all humility, yung mga hindi po nagsiselebrate ng birthday, kailan nyo po balak i-celebrate ang birth of Jesus Christ? Kasi ako naniniwala, we should. Kung hindi man December 25, you should celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Walang Christmas tree, walang caroling, walang bells, okay lang. Basta i-celebrate natin ang kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Yesus sapagkat ina-acknowledge natin the good news is meant to be celebrated. Do you agree with me mga kapatid? Do you agree with me, mga kapatid? We celebrate His goodness. We celebrate His greatness. We celebrate the goodness of our God. Listen to me. Why do we celebrate? Jesus did not come to become a king. He is already a king. Hindi pumunta si Jesus dito para maging 
para maging hari. Hari na siya. And in fact, in fact, he's not just a king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. Hindi pa ba sapat na reason yun para tayong lahat ay mag-celebrate because He is great. Greatness ng ating Panginoon. Kadakilaan ng ating Panginoon. Alam nyo, bago ka masabihang great, you have to be consistent. Greatness is a result of consistency. If you are a great guitar player, consistent na dapat magaling ka. Hindi yung may mood swings and all of that. If you are a great singer, if you are a great dancer, a great preacher even, greatness is a result of consistency. Why do we say that God is great? Because He's consistent. Ano mang sitwasyon, may pandemic man o wala, hallelujah, ang ating Diyos ay totoong dakila sa lahat. Greatness comes with it. And God is so consistent in being good, being kind to each one of us. Ang sabi ng Lord sa mga shepherds, don't be afraid. Ang sabi ng Lord kay Sekaraya and kay Elizabeth, don't be afraid. By the way, bonus lang. Alam nyo, ibig sabihin ng Sekaraya, God remembers. God remembers. Ibig sabihin ng Sekaraya. Kung hindi nyo alam ang background story ni Elizabeth and ni Sekaraya, matanda na sila, baog pa si Elizabeth, wala silang anak. Nagaas sila ng anak sa ating Panginoon, but finally, God gave and fulfilled that promise to them. God remembers. God remembers His promises. And if He can remember, we should remember what Christ has done for us. Alalahanin din natin ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. At ang, ang pangalan ng kalilang anak, si Sekaraya at si Elizabeth, John, John the Baptist. Alam nyo, ibig sabihin ng John, the Lord has been kind. Ang Diyos napakabait sa akin. Tinupad niya ang kanyang pangako sa akin. But sometimes, mga kapatid, I know that this season has been different. Eh siguro, sa first Christmas, sinabi rin nila yan, parang hindi pamilyar sa akin, na merong mesaya darating, pinanganak sa sabsaban, sa kulungan ng hayop. This can't be God. Kasi kung talagang Diyos siya, dapat hindi ganito. Hindi nila mapaniwalaan that the Christ that was concealed in the Old Testament was revealed in the New, revealed in the New Testament. They can't believe that. Because the, the Messiah that they were expecting, they were expecting, comes with a sword, comes with a horse, comes with a palace. But the Jesus, the Messiah that came, <laughs> pinanganak sa sabsaban, pinanganak sa barn, hari, but nasa manger? Unfamiliar. Hari, nasa barn? Unfamiliar. Ito ba ang fulfillment of the law and the prophets? Hindi ganito yung nakasanayan namin. This is not familiar. This doesn't look like what I have expected. First Christmas pa lang, unfamiliar na sila sa Christmas. Eh. What made us think, mga kapatid, na ngayon eh, Pastor, parang hindi na kayo magsiselebrate. Kasi nga naman, Alam niyo yun, pandemic eh. Kapatid, encouragement lang naman. Celebration doesn't have to be expensive. Hindi yeah. makailangan gumastos ng malaki. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Yung inalala natin, yung nagsimba ka ngayon, malaking bagay yan, na inaalala natin ang kapanganakan. Habang iba, bising-bisi sa, pag, sa paghahalo ng buko salad. <laughs> Habang iba, bising-bisi sa pag-aayos sa kanilang leche flan. Hindi natin inuusgahan. Pero ikaw, nagsimba ka ngayon. Iba nga dyan, nasa trabaho pa eh. Audio lang. <laughs> Pero I believe that God is pleased that we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hari, nasa barn. Hari, nasa sabsaban. Teka lang. God is supposed to be powerful, di ba? Di ba, meron tayong ganun eh. You're supposed to be powerful. Diyos ka, dapat you're supposed to be famous. Dapat sikat na sikat ka agad. 1,000 followers ka agad. God is supposed to have a huge bank account because that's what we expected Him to be. And then all of them were shocked. Kasi yung, yung misayang inaantay nila na magliligtas sa kanila sa mga Roman soldiers, sa Roman Empire, is the same God na nagligtas sa ating lahat sa mas matinding bandage of sin. In a practical sense, mga kapatid, let me just tell you this. Maybe iniisip mo, nung pumasok ang 2020, meron ka ng expectation. Yung parang God is supposed to be powerful. God, dapat siya, 2020 is supposed to be a year of upgrade. 
2020 is supposed to be a year of breakthrough. Meron ba kayo mga ganun? The 2020 is supposed to be, supposed to be, supposed to be. Ang church natin, we're supposed to transfer to a new building. Remember that? Yeah. We're supposed to add another service. Remember that? Yeah. Ang dami rin natin, we're supposed, we're supposed to, we're supposed. Yung iba naman, I, 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 I was supposed to get married this year. I was supposed to start a new business this year. I was supposed na, na ma, ma-promote sa trabaho this year. I was supposed to go to Taiwan, my first international flight. That was supposed to be my plan. And think about this. This Christmas is supposed to bring joy. I bring you good news that will cause great joy. Why is it that our Christmas brings stress? Worry. Anxiety. What is supposed to be the reason for this season? 2020 is supposed to be that thing, that thing. But the reality, mga kapatid, let me tell you a big supposed to be. We're supposed to go to hell. And then Jesus came. Jesus changes everything. And I know we've been, most of you have been isolated in your homes almost the whole year. Pansin ninyo ang balita, punong-puno ng hate, ng anger, punong-puno ng politics, punong-puno ng stress, ng violence. But, but just like the name Zechariah, always remind yourself, God remembered. God remembers His promises. God remembers kung ano yung mga ipinangako niya sa iyo. God remembers na yung ipinangako niya sa yung what's supposed to be will happen. Yes, God is leading the way. It's not supposed to be the way, sabi mo, but trust the way, Amen. the truth, and the life because He knows what He is doing. Father, we thank You for this wonderful reminder for all of us that You have been a great God for each one of us. Thank You, Jesus, for You remember Your promises. Thank you, Jesus, for you remember all the great things that you have done in our lives. Thank you, Jesus, na hindi ka pumunta dito sa earth para mag-demand, kundi para magbigay. You are a giver. You gave your only son, the son that you love for each and every one of us. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, all these people, Lord God, na naikinig, nanunood, YouTube man, Facebook man, listening by way of Spotify, Lord, I know you are not jurisdiction bound. Hindi ka bound ng geography. Lord, I pray, abutin mo kami. Hindi ka bound ng time zone. Kahit na napapakinggan ito, Panginoon, five years from now, you are still that same God who remembers your promises, who remembers what you said. And what you said in us, what you have promised in our life, will never, ever return to you void. We claim that, we receive that, this might be an unfamiliar way to celebrate Christmas, but we know, Lord God, we have a consistent, great, good, magnificent, wonderful God that we want to celebrate, Lord God, because you are the reason why this Christmas have been celebrated in the first place. We love you, we glorify you, we honor you. All glory belongs to you, our King. In Jesus' name we pray. If you receive a church, shout Amen. Hello guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Small favor lang before you leave, please do not forget to share this video to your friend. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Hindi natin pwedeng i-underestimate ang kapangyarihan ng pag-share ng simpleng video na ito sa kanila. All you have to do is click that share button and you'll never know kung sino-sino ang pwede nating maabot. One more thing, if you can, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel para wala ho kayong mamiss na kahit anong video or live stream every weekend. Alam nyo mga kapatid, napakabuti ng Diyos for we are able to reach out to you kahit nasa ibang parte pa man kayo ng mundo. If you want to support us and continue doing what we are doing, I would like to ask you to support this ministry. Give financially. Help us na magawa po namin ang aming mission na punuin ng langit. All you have to do is click that link www.gscmnb.com at alam nyo mga kapatid, ang inyong support will greatly help us 
para magawa po namin ang pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa amin. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. See us again sa susunod pang video. Lagi po niyong tatandaan, punoy natin ng langit and let's fight for our family. God bless you.